Commuters in Lagos are still groaning over the lingering fuel scarcity, which has resulted in long queues at various fueling stations as well as hike and transport fares. Plus TV news correspondent Emmanuel Olubaboku fills the pulse of residents and what they have to go through to get the product. The long fuel queues have been persistent since late 2022. Alarmingly, the situation has not abated this new year. With the month of January in its third week, one thing is visible, the vehicular traffic which the state is known for. However, residents are not happy with the state of affairs as the fuel crisis is seemingly unending. I'm very, very sad. I'm not happy about this fuel scarcity. Since last week, yesterday I came here, I was that NSS bar, I spent five hours before I got this fuel. I don't know what is happening with this fuel, which I'm not happy. And today again, I came again. For the, since 7 o'clock, I've been in the queue. And now it's almost five hours. I've not gotten. So what is happening with Nigeria? In the queue over three hours now. they will be on queue. So how, how will I feel where? So something that's supposed to enter under 10 minutes and I'm going to be on queue over, over three hours. So I, I'm, not, I'm not okay at all at all. Fuel scarcity is too much. I've been going around like now and I stay at Aja. But this is where I'm, going to, I'm coming to buy for because the other side, there, there is so much queue. So much queue. So... It's not easy for us to get fuel. It's not easy for us to get fuel. So things are really difficult. The lamentations continue as the scarcity always takes a toll on economic activities. Unsurprisingly, transport fares and prices of commodities have skyrocketed. Transport price stay the way it is. Because if you ask the transporter, they will ask you, they will tell you it's because of the fuel. The price that buying fuel. And to me, from my experience, um, even the government also said, they don't know anything about fuel. I mean, they have not increased fuel and fuel out there. Why the masses have said they don't, they don't see fuel by like it's scarce for them to buy, they have to have money. This fuel scarcity started since December. It's been so high. Like now, from here, from this uh, Palomo roundabout to Lakwe is 1,000 naira. Before you can get it 500, 600, but now 1,000 naira. Except you beg and beg and beg before they can collect 800 naira. That is. If you if you meet a nice people, people who doesn't have car, even to to get a vehicle to their destinations is very hard for them. And the bus drivers are not really even doing well. But although we don't blame them because the fuel price is higher, so the transportation fare is high. So things are really difficult. Many independent marketers are selling between 250 naira and 300 naira per litre at different locations while major marketers sell at about 170 naira to 190 naira per litre, leaving long queues behind. However, one question still lingers, when will the end to the continuous fuel scarcity come? Emmanuel Ulubu Bukun, Plus TV News.